hello guys this is a quick one let's import multiple images okay so without wasting my time let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating three folders in as a folder call the first one assets so we have assets here and in the assets folder let's create another folder and call it images okay so in the images folder let's have our image multiple image ready so that is that for the images now what we're going to do next is to create another folder and call it components now the next we create the last one and call it data good so now the components folder let's create a file and call it main page .js. So with that, we say RAFCE. Instead of ordinary div, why don't we use React or Fragment? Because so inside that we have a section and a div with a P tag to say hello. Let's link this uh, main page to the app.js to view on the screen. So we call the main page. Let's import the main page. Yeah. So that is that. Let's check out screen if we get hello. You can see now we got hello on the screen now let's reposition this is mobile first okay so now we're ready to go now what do we do next next we need the data okay the data of images so we go to our data folder then create a file inside and call it image data image data .js. so inside that we say export const image data okay now let's take our first data okay so we say img what apple so we repeat this for all the images okay so let's do that good so i've done it for ball i did it for cat and did it for dog then last one elephant now let's import all this the location of all these images okay so let's do that good so the first one import apple from where from assets images then a so likewise ball cat dog and elephant okay so that is that uh, images image data is ready so what do we do with the data let's go to the main page then import the data good so we say import image data from where from the location data and then image data so that is that so next is what let's take the hello of then call gss then inside that let's call the image data okay image data data dot map into bracket let's call the item comma index so that should give us what the function and inside that it should return return what return a div with a key the key should be what index so that is that inside that now let's call the img tag so let's call the img tag so inside the img tag we can have our src which we're going to say item dot what let's check our data the name then give it item dot img so we come to the main page and say item dot what img so you can see guys we got our data we can add the alt name alt name equals what let's give it image so that is that you can see our data has been populated okay so that is that then there the rest is just css which is we can say let's do a quick one uh, let me add the class name to the img tag and say class name class name let's give it width 40 40 height 40 then let's give it uh, let's bring it to the center so let's say mx bottom okay so that is that the rest you can do anything one would take so that is the image is responsive too so that is that guys thank you for sticking through please don't forget to do good catch you in the next one see ya